What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brie. Thank you so much for tuning in to another day of Vlogmas. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Of course, comment down below and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another upload. But as you have probably seen by the title, I am talking all things foundation. So I'm actually going to be going through my entire foundation collection. We might be doing some decluttering. Of course, I'm going to rave about all of my favorites and just share, you know, likes and dislikes and everything. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have all of my foundations laid out in front of me. Of course, you can't see it just because of, you know, how I have my desk and stuff set up, but I'm just going to be going through each one. I think what I'm going to do is just have all of the um, like specs about the foundation listed somewhere on the screen and just kind of share my thoughts on the foundation and stuff. Now, some of these I have not worn in a while, so they might be getting decluttered, but then some of them just kind of have my heart. So that might push me to actually start back wearing them again. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So NARS, you're going to see NARS quite a bit in this video, but this, I don't even think they make this one anymore. I think what they have now, and I do have my iPad set up because I have some of them pulled up just for like namesake, but they have the natural radiant Longwear foundation. So I think that's kind of what this one is similar to. So this is their all day luminous weightless foundation. So this is semi matte. I really did love this one. It was a really good coverage. I feel like this one's like a medium coverage. Um, and I had this in the shade dark one in um, Trinidad and I love, love, love this one. Um, that's why I think why I still have it and can't let it go. I feel like this was a perfect shade match for me and then of course my color tends to sh change excuse me <laughs> color tends to change um throughout like the winter months and then the spring summer months and all that so yeah but this one i felt like i could always like come back to it was always my perfect shade so yeah so i haven't actually used this one <laughs> in, a, in a bit it's dirty and whatnot i feel like now it might be a little too dark for me i would have to test it out to see um but one thing for me is like if i don't want to get rid of foundation because it's too light or too dark i usually try to mix it up with another one that I have just so I can continue to use it but this one was a good one okay so next up I have another NARS one this one I might have I hate to get rid of it um actually I might need to get rid of it. it's more watery <laughs> um but this is actually the NARS um light reflecting foundation um it like spilled and I have like a little makeup card over here and it spilled in the drawer not too long ago so I had it sitting out um, and I cleaned it up as best I could, but as you can see, it is super dirty and I don't even think this is my correct shade. I got this earlier this year because I think I picked it up a little bit before we went to Mexico and it was my perfect shade then, but then after I got back, of course I had a tan, so it didn't really fit me very much. Um, but this one was kind of like light to medium coverage, so it wasn't a full, full face, but it still just gave like a really pretty flawless finish. I feel like it kind of gave me a nice little glow. Um, so this one I would definitely repurchase, but probably in the correct shade, of course. Um, but yeah, this was another like favorite NARS foundations. I haven't had one that I never, you know, I take that back. I had a love hate relationship with the sheer glow foundation. I think I just really wanted it to give like full, full coverage and it just did not <laughs> basically. So I think that's why I never really cared for this one. But this one, I really did like, I know I was a little bit nervous because I am an oily girl. Um, and usually anything like light reflecting, you don't want your oil to just be extra shiny <laughs> basically. Um, so this one was a really good one and I felt like it worked for my oily skin as well. Next up, I have the Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. And I got this one in 6W1, which is in Sandalwood. I feel like this one is still my same, like really good shade for me right now. I've had this one for a while. Um, I believe the pump and everything, that one I got separate. I think my friend actually gave this to me because when you buy it, it does not come with the pump. And I think it comes like a bluish color pump anyways. But this one is a really good one, y'all. So if you're looking for just like a medium to full coverage, makeup and it's not going to be too cakey just like you know flawless basically this one was and is a really good one i would definitely repurchase this one probably need to see if this one is once again still the correct shade but it went on really pretty um and i use this one a lot and i don't know if even if i have a lot left honestly but i would definitely repurchase this one okay so next up of course gotta talk about this one if you're not new to my channel then you know i already love this one um, but if you are new this is the sephora best skin ever foundation um this is their long wear foundation love 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 this one as you can see <laughs> um it's actually almost done um this one even though it looks a little bit darker i feel like this one is still my perfect shade i'm actually wearing it today so so I just love it. I feel like it's the perfect foundation. Um, it's not too cakey. Um, I feel like it gives me a really good finish. Um, you don't have to really do too much to it to like make it work if that makes sense. No extra blending and all that stuff. It just goes on 
like perfectly and stuff and it is affordable this actually retails for twenty dollars and this video should be going up today if it is um sephora is actually i think today is the last day y'all if you haven't used the coupon yet it is um to get gifting i'll have it somewhere on the screen use the screen you actually get 30 percent off any sephora collection products so this is one of them so you get um, 30 percent off of this one so that's a really good deal i think yeah it drops it down like 14 bucks so definitely get your hands on this one of course you got to talk about fenty i know this one has kind of been up and down i think she's been redoing the formula on it um lately so i feel like what was before isn't what it is now basically um, but this one is the pro filter hydrating long wear foundation so i know when you hear hydrating sometimes for oily girls you're like oh i don't know but if your skin is producing a lot of oils that means it's trying to hydrate the skin so this one is actually really good for you <laughs> um and this one i believe is it my shade I feel like it might be this one is shade 430 so um i did like this one i haven't been using it as much i kind of just did one dabble back and forth in it so it's not, not that i don't like it um but it's not like one of like my top babes right now and stuff so yeah but this one is still available i think it's on sale too at sephora for like 19 bucks or so so if you're interested in trying any fenty foundation because they've all been really good a lot of people rave about them definitely try this one Okay, getting into some drugstore products. This one is by NYX. Y'all, I, I think I got like a little bit left, which is very shocking to me. You know what? I use a lot of this. So this is the NYX Total Control Pro Drop Foundation. I really do like it, but this little bottle costs about, because drugstore products have gone up a lot lately, this one costs about like, ooh, like 15 to 17 bucks. So when you think of NYX and you think of that price and you see the size of this bottle, you're kind of like, I don't get it. And that's why I'm kind of like, dang, I really, did I really use this a lot? I didn't think I did, but obviously so. Um, but it comes in like a little dropper. So of course I'm using like one full like squeeze to get enough foundation out. So I really do like the foundation. I just wish that it came in a bigger size, not as much on the price, even though most of the places you can get a coupon for it or whatever but that's the only kind of like downside to it is like you're not going to get a lot of products so if you're one that doesn't wear foundation like all the time then you might like this one but if you wear foundation a good chunk of the time like throughout the week you're going to go through this one pretty quickly and i got the shade cappuccino and i feel like this one is still a good shade match for me right now so yeah next up another favorite um this is the makeup forever hd skin foundation love 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 this one i have this one in the shade 4y66 this one is still pretty decent even though it looks a little um off kind of probably on camera and next to my face but this one once it kind of i forgot like the terminology for it but once you actually get it onto the skin and blend it out oxidize i believe that's the correct word it oxidizes onto the skin pretty well to where it matches your skin tone perfectly um so really do like this one this is a really good like medium to full coverage like it's buildable um so definitely love this one all right so moving right along i talk about this one so this is the danessa myricks this is the yummy skin serum foundation i love 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 this one but i haven't been able to wear it um as of late because it is too dark for my skin i tried to wear it by itself one time just put some powder on because i didn't want to do like a full face and even my husband knows he was like something is off with your face and for him to say something that i know it was off <laughs> so this one is good right now if i can either mix it with the lighter foundation or make sure that my concealer is lighter and sometimes you just don't want to be going through all of the the motions with trying to make sure you know a foundation matches because usually you can go darker but this one is like i think way too dark for me right now so i might have to put this one to the back for now and bring her back out in the summer and i'm in the shade 19g um and i think i was in between in between shades excuse me when i first purchased this i think i could have gone down to 18 but at the time i feel like 18 may have been a little bit too light but now i wish i would have got it because now i gotta like sit on this one you know up until probably next summer or so but i like the that it has like the little tube and everything um the only thing is i don't know if you can tell like when it has run out um i don't think like the line doesn't go down or anything um so that is something i kind of wish that it did have but nonetheless a really good foundation and then of course gotta talk about another nars one nars soft matte this one was really good um i know some um people that have dry skin were a little bit nervous about it but even the dry skin girlies were liking this one um so i have this one in the shade caracas which is medium deep 3.3 this is the soft matte complete foundation this one is actually too light for me and i might go ahead and toss this one because it's almost out <laughs> um and this one's still like way too light and i don't even think it would work 
even as my skin probably gets a little bit lighter throughout winter I still don't think that my skin is going to get this light again so yeah I might have to toss her but um out of the NARS I don't know if I would repurchase this one right now I'd probably repurchase like the all-day luminous or um the light reflecting one in the correct shade this one was cool but I think I gravitate towards the other ones a little bit more Okay, next up we have an Ilya one. Um, so this one was actually gifted to me. I attended an Ilya event here in Dallas um, over kind of like the end of summer or somewhat, um, but really do like this one. So this is for like my no makeup makeup days basically. It's a light coverage. Um, you can build it of course, so that's why I don't really gravitate towards this one for some time or just for most of the time because if I'm going somewhere I kind of want that full beat basically <laughs> so yeah but this one is their super serum skin tint SPF 40 I love it because it has SPF in it and it also has niacinamide squalene and hyaluronic acid so just like the all-around perfect like skincare foundation um so my shade in this one um I don't know if this is it I have like it's, it says like ST 14.5 Nopu. I don't know if that's the actual shade if it is I'll have like the specs on the screen somewhere um, but you want to shake this one up this one has a dropper too so you can go through this one pretty quickly I know it looks a little light on camera but it, it works <laughs> um, so yeah but I really do like this one but once again it is a little bit lighter so if you don't want like full full coverage or if you don't even want medium coverage you'll love this one and then another drugstore foundation love her so this is the elf halo glow liquid filter glow booster for radiant skin so this was the dupe to the charlotte chilberry which i actually have in front of me i'll show her in a second um, but everybody was raving about it so i had to get my hands on it and this one i got in the shade six tan deep now i know that it has been out of stock as of late i know i got mine at target they haven't had my shade um, but i know a lot of people when they were buying it online it's been out of stock for a while so if you see it grab it um, but really do like this one this is another pretty like Kind of like one of those no makeup makeup look days you can build this one up um i do like how it has the applicator and stuff um i know for some that may not be as sanitary because you're putting it on your skin and putting it back in here even though it's going back on your skin but if you happen to be having a breakout or something it may not be the safest but if you have something where you can like swatch it on your hand or whatnot then you can really enjoy this one and then next up i have a huda beauty foundation um this one is um in chocolate mousse this is their faux filter luminous matte full coverage this one is thick y'all <laughs> like as soon as you like put you know put some on your hand or wherever you put out your foundation it's thick so i think that's probably why i don't go towards this one as much but i think this one still has been a really good shade for me i haven't once again used it in a while because it is so thick definitely takes some blending but once it's blended out it is really pretty um i do want to try they have this in um like concealer form and i've heard really good things about it so definitely want to try um to get my hands on the concealer here soon but the foundation is pretty good um it's just it's thick <laughs> all right y'all so moving right along just have a few a few left <laughs> so yeah uh gotta rave about this one i'm surprised i didn't make this one my last one but y'all know this is my favorite so the house labs uh, triclone skin tech foundation this is the ultimate favorite right now honestly i feel like this has been like my top foundation for 2022 honestly because yeah i'm looking at what i have in front of me and yeah the sephora best skin ever one that's like a close second but this one yeah this one was is amazing i love 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 it um so i got mine in the shade um 440 medium deep cool so um i did the what sephora rec recommended to me online and what i actually ended up getting was completely different so this is probably one i would recommend going ahead and getting shade matched in the store if you can because yeah what it matched me online is totally different so but this one is really good um comes with the pump this one i believe is medium coverage but it is buildable so very pretty another fancy beauty foundation um this is the easy drop blurring skin tint another one of my no makeup makeup look days um i really use this one a lot like on vacation and stuff i'm in the shade 19 um i think right now it might be a little bit too light because once again i bought this before we went on vacation and i came back with like a super duper tan <laughs> so yep so probably i might be able to get back into this maybe in like the next month or so um but yeah really pretty on it's just a very light finish just if you already have like perfect skin and you just want to just kind of maybe look, like smooth everything out or just make it more even this is definitely going to be your jam just squeeze it right onto the face and i loved it for vacation because it was tiny so it didn't take up like too much space so yeah okay got another drugstore um 
foundation, excuse me. So this is the e.l.f. Camel CC Cream. Love, love, love this one. So I actually picked this up last year because I did a couple of Vlogmas videos with this one. Um, so yeah, so I actually still have a little bit left. Um, but this is their Color Correcting Full Coverage Natural Finish. I forgot what this one was supposed to be a dupe for, but I feel like it was a dupe for something. And I got mine in the shade Tan 425N. Really love this one. I feel like this one is pretty affordable for what you get compared to that other like NYX one I showed y'all earlier. Um, but this one, um, pretty, you know, light. It has the pump, which I love. So yeah, so this one is really good. The drugstore one. Um, this is the L'Oreal Paris. This is the um, infallible, I think it's, it's, what is this? Like the Pro Matte Stars. There's like a sticker over it. It's like a demi matte finish. Um, once again, I'll have it like somewhere on the screen. Um, but this one I got in the shade... 112 cocoa cacao I believe so this one was a little bit too warm for me and then I'd already tried it so I wasn't sure what the return policy was it, I think I picked it up at like a CVS basically I really did like the finish but it was a little bit too warm so I might try to see if I can pull this off now um it kind of got pushed to the back in like my little cart um that I have so I might need to put you know bring her up a little bit forward um but yeah but you're gonna get a demi or a semi matte demi matte <laughs> finish 24 hour coverage uh, medium coverage at that and then like an air light texture so it's going to go on light but it's going to give you medium coverage so love the tubing and the packaging so yeah so this will be another one i would try if i can get my hands on the correct shade um but yeah really good okay y'all we only got three left so <laughs> hopefully this video isn't going to be too long um but i mentioned it before i do have the charlotte tilbury this is the airbrush flawless foundation stays all day and night this one i might have to let go because she is just too light um i have been trying to mix her up with other foundations and it works um, but just by itself, it just does not work for me right now. So I have I have it in the shade 12.5 in warm, I believe, just 12.5 warm. I really do like it. I just need to get the correct shade. So I think what I did do was mix this one with my um, Janessa Myricks, my yummy skin, because this one is like way too warm and this one was like way too light. But I think together they made a pretty good combo. And I feel like the finishes worked really well together. Um, so that's something to keep in mind if you are going to be mixing foundations. Make sure, even though like the you're creating the perfect color, make sure that the finishes are coming out well. Um, but yeah, but this one I tried to use as much as as I could. And it's just beautiful packaging. This one was on the pricey side, which I think is why I've been hesitant to get rid of her because it's a little bit pricey. I think, of course, I caught it on a sale. But if you were just outright go buy it, it's a little pricey. But once again, Sephora, I think today's last day of sale. So if you want to try her, get your hands on her. So yeah, next up. Y'all seen this one, I'm sure, the Too Faced Four in This Way Foundation. This one I think is a little bit too warm for me right now as well. Um, this is in the shade Mahogany. Honestly, I might could wear this. Some, you know, some foundations you can wear is like a cream contour. So, you know, like I said, try to make your foundations work if they're too light, too dark. You can make them as some, maybe sometimes it's like a highlighter, a contour something <laughs> so yeah but really love the finish on this one of course i'm in love with the concealer i might be doing a video that might be tomorrow's video of like all of my concealers that i have um because i really do like their concealers um the foundation is cool too but yeah so there's this one all right y'all last but not least we have elf um i think i have like three elf foundations maybe there's a second one yeah maybe only two i'm sorry i'm being <laughs> dramatic um but this is the oil free satin finish flawless finish foundation i think it's just a flawless finish foundation but it is oil free um so this one i have in the shade coco so this is deep with neutral tone undertones excuse me i love 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 this one i'm like once again it probably got pushed to the back which is why i stopped wearing it but this one is a beautiful um finish it goes on really well blends out good always looks good and whatnot so i would definitely um continue to repurchase this one haven't used it in a while so i need to see if it still matches you know my shade that i am now but really good one all right y'all so that wraps up today's video on all of my foundations i think i have 19 in total and i hope that i didn't miss any like might be like tucked away somewhere i don't think i did um so if i did that's a shame on me because i'm like that's a lot <laughs> so yeah but i hope you enjoyed seeing my foundation collection hopefully it kind of gave you some inspiration if you have been looking to try a new foundation and what you know my thoughts on are the, on them excuse me and all that good stuff so thank you so much for tuning in make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below your thoughts on any of the foundations that i talked about subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye y'all.